So everybody's good friend, Norma Foley, um, has, I don't know how, like, again, Norma Foley has just the gift of managing to piss everyone off. Like, literally, she can piss everyone off. And everybody literally in the country is united in saying that Norma Foley, like, without a hell of a doubt, Norma Foley is the worst minister for education we ever had. Um, and that's saying something. I need to go as far as saying the worst minister. Um, like, everything, like, it's just a fucking mess. Um, like, here we're not this morning in Ireland AM, um, and she talked to her codswallop, like, you know, codswallop, you think codswallop's going out of the, out of fashion, you should listen to Norma Foley for five minutes, um, well, you couldn't even listen to her for five minutes because your head just, your head explode listening to her, but yeah, um, and then she was going to go on, uh, uh, Forge Media tonight, and, uh, tonight show on Forge Media, and then she cancelled it because, again, Norma Foley just runs away from things. Um, but yeah, so basically at the moment the teachers are not happy, the general public are not happy, the students are not happy, the unions are not happy, nobody's happy, <laughs> everybody's complaining, everybody's annoyed, um, because Norma Foley just simply doesn't give a fuck about anything to do with anybody. And she's getting, as somebody said rightly on Twitter, she's getting 175,000 euro a year. Yes. And she's, she's basically paid to listen to nobody and care for nothing. Like, she doesn't give a shit. Like, and she was asked by a journalist, uh, uh, finally a journalist asked her about schools being safe. And then she reiterated when he said about the whole change of the narrative, the schools are safe environments. She started saying safe school, schools are safe again. So, you know, these journalists have to look at themselves and be like, what the fuck are we doing in journalism? Because, you know, they haven't asked any hard questions of normal 40, let's be honest. Like, you know, and she's trending in Ireland. You should see, literally, um, I've been told by five or six people that Norma Foley is literally everywhere on TikTok at the moment, on Irish TikTok. That it's literally nobody else. T- literally, everybody's taking the piss out of Norma Foley. Everyone on TikTok, everyone on all the apps, I told her uh, something to do with Fis- Fiskin or something like that. Uh, V-S-C-O or something like that. I never heard of the app before, but somebody told me it's all over everywhere. Everybody's <laughs> messaging Norma Foley on Instagram saying to close the schools. You know, like it's a, it's a mess. Like She's literally everywhere. And people are just absolutely fucking going ham. And it's literally not one. I looked this morning and tried not one person saying Norma Foley's doing a good job. Um, like, nobody can agree that she's actually... Like she doesn't give a shit about literally anything. Like Let's be fair, she couldn't give a shit. Like In fairness to her, she, at least she's pure outward that she doesn't give a shit uh, about anybody or anybody's physical or mental health or anything. She doesn't give a shit. She just doesn't care. <laughs> you know, and that's, yeah, at least, at least Michal Martin, you know, he's a bit of a snake. He won't, he won't say it outright. But at least normal Foley's just like, fuck he's all, I don't care about this. Um, that's more or less normal Foley for you. Um... But what a mess, like, <laughs> like <laughs> what a mess. And 10% of the teachers are off sick um, with different things. And the cat get replacements. There's some schools that won't even open the all because the cat get the teachers. And there's some schools that students are barely in school because they, are, if they have a sniffle and they've been set home. Like, it's ridiculous. It's honestly a pilot. This is the biggest joke in the history of the state. Um, and particularly when Norma Foley came out two days before this whole staff shortage came. And she said there was no such thing as a staff, staff shortage and everything was fine. Everything was safe. And then five minutes later, all hell broke you loose. Um, and Norma Foley looked like you're an idiot because she said that. But yeah, what a mess. Like, you know, what a mess. Like, you could, like literally, it's just the biggest mess you can make up. Like, I don't think you could even try. But yeah, to be totally honest, and I say this about leaving sort this, leaving sort this year, I had to predict the grades last year. That um, you know, the leaving sort uh, obviously it's been very difficult on young people. It's been very very difficult. So I think they should be given a choice. I think it's the fairest thing, um, because obviously the old leaving sort, the old ways, the leaving sort, it's not. It doesn't really benefit in your life. I got a job without a, I wasn't even asked for it. To be totally honest, and I got a it was a civil service job. I was never asked for a, a, the leaving sort. Never opened my leaving sort of sorts. Um, never was asked for. Never needed them. To be totally honest, no one to benefit. In other words, there's no benefit to people. Unless you're going on for a mechanic or an engineer you do that in school. Or you're going on for a maths teacher or something like that. that and that's benefit maybe doing it in English or something like that. But um, it's truly no benefit to um, to to the vast majority of people. There's truly no benefit. And I think they should have a choice. And I think that was the right thing last year. That if people wanted to do it, they had the choice. If people didn't want to do it, they had the choice. And a lot of people did do some papers. They did 
subjects that they liked, which is the best thing, you know, subjects that they liked and what they do and knew a lot about, then you should do that. Um, instead of forcing people to annoy themselves and upset themselves about things, I think that was the fairest thing. But we talk about that when the time comes, but number 40 seems to be fucking hellbound on just doesn't give a shit about anybody. Um, but again, lack the, mo- the, lack of, the lack of empathy and her being a teacher before, the lack of empathy she has for literally anything is unbelievable. Like, I have a bit more empathy for people than Norma Foley. Norma Foley just doesn't give a shit. Like, literally, let's be fair. Doesn't give a damn about anybody. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Bye.